Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to see observable and the promises with an example. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the observable and promises, we have seen what is the difference between them. In this video, we will understand both with an example, like how we use it in our Angular site. So, like in the previous video where we discussed about the differences between them and we have seen First of all, both the observable and the promises are used to handle the asynchronous kind of the data. But we have seen like uh, observable and the, uh, like uh, if we will go with the observable, so it is used to handle multiple response at a time. But in the promises, it emit one value only at a time. If we talk more about in between, uh, difference between them, so if we will go with the observable, so it contain a couple of the methods also called map filter reduce etc but promises don't have any method if we want to cancel any request in the observable we can do but in the promises that is also not allowed in the observable are the lazy because the function trigger after the user subscribe to the stream means like we are having any method so that method will be trigger once user will subscribe to that means once that is successful then only but promises are eager means promises callback execute immediately and only once at a moment of the definition without dot then and dot catch subscribers handle the error and these push error to the child promises so these are the couple of the difference between the observable and the promises so now let's understand both with an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a one method. Let's create public and this method I'm saying get data with promise. And now in this method, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a let promise and here I'm going to create an object of this new promise and this basically like if you will see it take two things one is the executor and basically what, what, what is this like executor is kind of an, a function and it take two value resolve and the reject so the meaning of the resolve is basically like if the operation is the successful means uh, like if you want to uh, like it's basically like something like if value is uh, working as expected then we have to write under that resolve if we don't like there is any error or something then we can put it inside the reject so let's understand it so what i'm going to do here function and inside this one i'm going to take resolve and next is reject so this now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a one constant and well equal to and here I'm saying 2 plus 2. So now next what I'm going to check, I'm going to check if well equal to equal to 4. If it is successful then I will say resolve and inside this one we have to give that message. So here I'm saying success. If it is not true, then we have to use the reject. And here I'm saying error. So this is the way we write the promise keyword. So it's basically what it says, like in like first we have to create the promise method and inside this one we have to pass two things, resolve and the reject. And according to that, we have to get the data. Now here, if you want to call any API, you can call that API and you can check the condition according to that. Now next what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this method in the ng on in it. Now to call this method is basically we use then like if we want to execute this method. So before that let's take let output or I will say the response equal to this dot get with the promises. Now here what I'm going to say is response dot and now here i will use then so then is basically we use it for the uh, to get the response from the promises 
So now next what we have to do after the then we have to call inside this one function and then what we have to say we have to say the resolve and after that after the uh, this resolve what we have to say inside here let's take console dot log and I'm going to print here whatever the response is coming from here so let's put it here and next if that response is not coming as expected then what we will say function and reject so the reject output basically and inside this one I'm going to say console.log and I will say whatever the output is coming in the case of the reject and the next thing is the output is coming in the result so it should not be in the string format so let's remove it from here so that is the first thing now like whatever the response will come from this method so we have to capture it if it is a resolve then we, we are uh, like uh, capturing it here otherwise we are capturing it here now it is giving the error and the reason is like we are not going to return anything from this get data with promises so we have to return it so what we have to return from here we have to return the promise so once we will re uh, return it from here we can see the error is gone now the thing is like uh, we are capturing the response from here and then we are printing according to that now let's go on the browser and see the output let's go to the inspect element and here we can see it is uh, coming as an success now instead of this let's put it as a one so now in that case it will going to reject it and the, it will print it the reject here so the same output we can see here so this is the way basically what we do we use the promises in the angular side so basically here currently i am calling like here instance we are writing the logic you can call the api from here and you can capture the request now let's create another method and this method i'm going to say public get data with observable now here now next what i'm going to do let's uh, take a one variable and that, that variable what this the data and the type of is basically any now what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign the value in that data only now next what i'm going to do i'm going to say new observable now in this observable if you will see so it will be new observable and inside the, this you will see couple of the values and like let's take the response so i'm going to take as an uh, response here so now here this observable basically comes from the rx js you can see this observable we are taking it from the rx jx library now this observable will take basically a callback method so like callback response so here we have to give so here i'm going to take as an res that is the object i'm going to take now next thing what we have to do we have to use uh, like we have to assign the value to this one now here what i'm going to do i'm going to just write console.log and here i'm saying observable is started next thing is basically to uh, like get the data what we have to do we have to use the next keyword so now dot next and inside this one we can assign any value as expected like i'm going to assign those values and let's change one two three four and five so this is the basically uh, like what we have created we have created a object of the observable here and here res is nothing but a subscriber which is basically waiting for the data and it is basically a callback function so here this is the callback function and using the lambda we are initiating it and inside this method what we have done we have written couple of the logic but what it is going to do it is going to print one two three four five now 
this observable will be called only when like it's basically going to emit this data only when we are going to subscribe it so to subscribe this one what i'm going to do here in inside the ng on init only i'm going to do here so here let's observable call so now here what we are doing basically we are assigning this object in the data only so now let's call this method so how we will call it first let's this dot get data observable now next thing what we have to do this dot data and now what we have to do we have to use the subscribe method so subscribe method now here this subscribe uh, method basically take three uh, callback uh, method is basically and what uh, what are those uh, callback functions are first is the next another is basically error and next is the complete so we will understand everything about all these callback method in the coming video in this video let's understand about the next only so basically the thing is subscribe method take three callback functions next error and the complete so here let's understand about the next callback method so now here you can take any parameter of this one like so to understand it uh, either you can take next or i will take the res now here we have to define it like the type of this is any next using the lambda expression we have to define the values so now it's a callback method so we have to give the one bracket let's give it this way now next what we have to do we have to print the data so console dot log and here like what we are going to do whatever the output is coming here we are going to print it now let's save this and go on the browser so if we will go on the browser we can see observable is started and here it is printing one two three four five and then it is printing the promises method so here we can see like uh, first we are calling the uh, promises and then we are calling the observable but the thing is here it is printing the observable first and then it is printing the promises letter and the reason is like this observable uh, sorry this promise is called once the output is set up like once the output is ready then only it emit that uh, uh, record but in case of the subscriber it uh, call uh, like automatically now here what we are going to do in case of the uh, like uh, in case of the observable we are going to set uh, like the time so now what I'm going to do I'm going to make a little change here so let's do set timeout and inside this one what we are going to do is response and dot next and here let's print one and it should print after the one second so this i'm going to do just like uh, for this one i'm going to do for all and here let's take two three four five and six and let's print it two second three second four second five second and six second now let's save it and go on the browser so if you will go what now in that case what will happen now first it is printing the promises and then one two three four five six so this is the way it is uh, like uh, we use the observable in the angular so generally in the case of the angular uh, like if we will go to implementation of the observable so basically like in the observable what we have to do we, we have to call the callback uh, functions we have to assign and then we have to print the data so whatever the output is coming here we, we can print it here or we can call any api so for an example this is the api for, uh, in our case and if we are calling this method from here so we have to use the subscribe method and we are printing according to that one in the previous video if i will go in the case of the student so here you will see 
here we created even some uh, uh, service method that is the get student detail and what it do it get the data from the api or the json whatever we have created here it give the response so what we are doing going to do we are going to subscribe that method here we are subscribing like we are getting the data from this method and this is the callback method and then whatever the output is coming we are assigning into the local variable so this is the way we use the promises and the observable in our angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you